Hi, I'm Mike Lewis. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can edit with some simple techniques yourself into a green goblin. I hope you will like it. If you like this kind of content, please give a like. Okay, let's go. So the first step is to choose a photo which you want to use. I'm gonna go with this one. Then I'm deleting the background. I'm using a simple uh, technique uh, from many select and then I'm choosing select and mask. You can see that it works pretty well. Then when I have my selection ready, I go and use a liquify tool to change a bit the shape of my head. You can see that I'm changing the nose and I'm just doing some tricks to make it look a bit more devilish. Okay, it looks perfect. And now uh, we need to give this green color to our skin, so I'm using a hue saturation layer to do this. And of course creating a clipping mask to our layer. I'm also playing with brightness and contrast and levels. And when I'm happy with my color of the skin, I'm creating a new hue saturation layer and I'm making teeth a bit more green. To make those teeth look dirty and also mouth. And those teeth right now look too perfect, so let's go and use again Liquify tool and make them a bit more scary. Now we have a perfect smile. I'm creating a new saturation layer and I'm giving a bit more natural look to our teeth. Just a simple yellow color. And then I'm creating a brightness contrast layer and I'm creating some shadows on those teeth. Okay, now let's create some eyes. So I'm just creating a simple orange circle. I'm masking some parts that, uh, that I doesn't want to see. And then I'm creating a simple gradient inside of it. And I'm also creating some shadows. And for now, I just paint the two black dots. I'm gonna do some more realistic eyes later. I'm playing again with some shadows to give a bit more depth to the eyes. Okay, right now it's time to add a head to our character. And you can see there is a spot which doesn't work for me, so I'm using a simple healing brush tool to fix this spot. And then I'm using a pen tool to get rid of the background. When my hat is ready, I'm using a warp tool to match uh, the head to my head. I need to warp it even more, so I'm gonna use the liquify tool. And I'm just playing with it. Okay, something like this uh, works for now. Let's change the color. So again, here's saturation layer and we are changing the color. I move back to the original layer to fix the uh, shape of the head a bit. To make a bit more room to our head. I'm adding some shadows beneath uh, the head. And I'm adding some extra shadows on the whole face. Okay, now it's time to add some ears. So I found this picture of the ear and I'm gonna use a pen tool to extract the ear from the image. I'm also using a spot healing brush to fix some places that I don't want to see. And then I'm changing the size and I'm using again a liquify tool. And we've got the perfect elf ear. So now it's also time to change the color of it. So here's saturation layer and we change the color to green. We also create a crush adjustment layer to bring some more contrast and depth to ear. And when we are happy with it, we duplicate the ear to the left side. You can see that I'm adding some shadows here and there. 
and again playing with the shape of the head. Now we can move back to the eye. So I found the cat with yellowish eyes. So I'm gonna just copy the eye and paste it on our character. I do some masking to make sure it fits perfectly. And I want to add some more details. I want to add some wrinkles. So I found this picture of the old lady and I'm gonna uh, put it on the top of our uh, character, blend it with our image. I change the blending mode to overlay and I do some masking again. I add some lights and some shadows again. And now I'm adding a background, so I found a picture of the city and I'm desaturating the image. And I also blur it a bit. I want the light coming from the top, so I also add a light at the top of the image. And I'm adding some lights on the edges of our character. And I'm adding some small shadows. And now I add a vibrance adjustment layer to increase a bit the colors. I'm creating a solid color adjustment layer and I'm just trying to imitate some glowing effect. I add some sparks. And I also, with new hue saturation layer, uh, add some color adjustments to blend the sparks a bit more. I add a new light to make sure that our person pop out a bit more. I'm increasing some colors here and there. And for the final touch-ups, first I go to Camera Raw Filter and then I play with some values. I mix some colors, add a sharpening effect. I fix some places here and there. And I also go to lens correction and I add chromatic aberration effect. And I add some vignette. And for the final effect, I make sure the picture looks more natural. So I add some blur here and there. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from it. Please give a like, comment and subscribe to see more of this kind of content. To the next time. Bye.